Welcome Leo and Cross Watchers. This is your general love reading for June 22nd through the 28th. Leo, it looks like somebody was juggling options, but they walked away. So stick around. Let's see where this goes. Hello and welcome to Quartz Rose Tarot. I just want to thank everyone who supports my channel by watching uh, my weekly videos, booking readings, and uh, keeping up with me on social media. I, I appreciate everyone's love and support. Um, just as a reminder, all the readings are general, and they will not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate with you, it's not your story. So take what resonates and leave the rest. I also want to give back to my amazing community uh, by giving two free three-question readings away weekly. So just leave me a comment down below, um, hashtag Quartz Rose Tarot Giveaway. Each week, I'll go through the comments, and I'll randomly pick two winners. If, um, if you're chosen, I will reply to your comment uh, that you've won. So please keep an eye out. If you're interested in booking a reading with me, all the information is listed in the description box below. I am looking forward to seeing all these wonderful comments. Good luck. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Now stick around. Let's see where this goes. Leo, you're starting off with the Two of Pentacles. This is about juggling Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Uh, somebody may have had options here. Um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. And they've walked away. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. So you go from the seven to the eight. Um, you have this King of Wands, someone who goes for what he wants. He's, can he's Aries, Leo, Sag energy. A lot of passion there. Um, he does what he wants. He doesn't ask permission, but he is speaking a truth. So he's coming back around towards somebody to speak a truth and try to balance something out with the um, temperance card, Sagittarius energy. Um, somebody may be holding on or holding back. This is his true match, the Queen of Wands. Um, Leo, this would be you. This could be you, Leo, here. Um, either one, uh, you guys are a true match. Um, you have Aries, Leo, Sag in your chart. Um, but you may be, this person, he's wanting to balance out holding on or holding back. No, it's holding on to this person. And blocking with the Seven of Wands, overcoming obstacles, defending himself, blocking some stripe, jealousy, and competition. Locking out the strife, jealousy, and competition. Now, he's walking away from an option. In the center of the reed was the option, the uh, pre-empress. This is um, Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. This person is abundant, has everything but love. She's heartbroken. She, he, take it how it resonates with you. This person's heartbroken. And they've made a decision. They could be. This is a, this is this is a the two of wands. It's not just about. It, it's a card of distance. It's a card of of being at a crossroads, trying to decide which path you're going to take. But um, you also could be emotionally distant from somebody with that card at a distance, whether it's physical or or mental. Um, there's an ending here. Scorpio energy with the death card of a relationship. You could be dealing with a Taurus. So, Hierophant, traditional, something that was traditional. So she's ending, she's heartbroken about this relationship that she's ending. And she's taking a leap of faith. So this is Gemini, Virgo, Aries energy to me. She wants to heal something. She's taking a leap of faith to heal some burdens. That's what I'm getting. She's healing some burdens here. And she may be waiting. This could be you. This could be her. There's somebody that's waiting at a distance. This is somebody at a distance. Something's coming towards you. Communication is coming towards you with the uh, Eight of Wands because there's some regret here. Now, I don't know if 
you were juggling two people, you were juggling options here, and you walked away from one, which it looks like you walked away from this one, because she's heartbroken and choosing to end a relationship. And you're holding on to this person, and she's blocking out the competition. But it looks like if this is you, Leo, or this is the person that you're dealing with, They may be regretting this ending. They may still have love for this other person. There's regret here. Speaking the truth, having some regret, apologizing for the deception of about sexual relationship, something that was a passionate new beginning. There you are, Leo, needing strength and courage to look at the past, the mistakes that were made. To come in and offer their cup in a relationship and have a reconciliation. Someone's being very strategic, not showing emotion, being truthful, but anxious, holding on to some kind of a secret, not speaking, using their intuition. They could be watching you. You could be watching them. Somebody's watching. Somebody who is a true two of cups. Have a new beginning and move forward. Wow. So it looks like there are three people in this, this equation. And the king of, uh, king of Pentacles, whoever that is, could be a male, could be female. Don't get hung up on the genders. Um, walked away from the situation. Speaking a truth, holding on, balancing, holding on to this person. Okay. This person's blocking the competition. They're just blocking it out, okay? This person's heartbroken, heartbroken, making a decision to end a relationship, taking a leap of faith to heal the burdens, okay? But somebody, and it doesn't say who, it could be this person, it could be this person, it could be this person, is waiting to communicate their regret. So somebody's going to communicate that they have some regret, and they want to apologize. And for some deception, lying, cheating, stealing, something that was passionate, sexual relationship, they're needing some strength and courage to look at the past, to come in and offer that cup of love in a relationship, 1111, reconciliation. Did I get the 1111 card next to reconciliation? My, my mind all automatically goes to this pre empress here. On that somebody's apologizing to her for whatever this is. Now, Leo, keep in mind, this is representing you. This could be representing you. This could be representing you. Okay, so take it for who you are. If, you're the, if you know that you're a twin, this would be you. If you know that you're a soulmate, this would be you. So it looks like there's a soulmate and then there's, then there's your person. So somebody's going to apologize and want to reconcile, but they're being strategic in how they do it. They're using their logic instead of their emotion. Um, they're stone-faced about this. Um, they're not showing their anxiety, so they're not showing you their poker hand. They're not showing you their poker hand. Um, coming in as the uh, high priestess. This also could represent, to me as a reader, the empress. Okay, this is somebody who doesn't speak. She uses her intuition, and she knows the secret. She knows the secret. She's watching somebody. Could be on social media. Somebody's watching a two of cups. She's watching their person. This person could be watching her person have a new beginning and move forward with somebody else. But it's almost like somebody's going to come back to apologize to reconcile with somebody. It could be. I'm getting a couple stories here. I am getting a couple stories. So this apology could be to this person for deception with this person. Or it could be this person apologizing to this person for the deception with this person. Take it how it resonates with you. Because I do see that somebody is watching their two of cups move forward in a new relationship with somebody else. 
So whether you're this person or this person, I do see that if they're reconciling with you, the person is seeing. Whoever he reconciles with, the other person is seeing their two of cups move on with somebody else. They're watching it. So someone's having some regret, whether, you know, in a third party situation, there's no winners. Believe me, there's not. Somebody's going to get hurt no matter what. So if they're communicating their regret and they're apologizing for deception, it could be with this person or this person. It doesn't matter that he's reconciling with one and the other person's watching, watching their two of cups move on with somebody else. That's what it boils down to, watching, watching their true person move on with somebody else. Leo, that's all I have for you. If this resonates with you, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I hope you have a wonderful day.